Hello, this is my red slope sawer. Um, this is the uh, the wing that I built in the Depron wing build video. Um, but what I'm going to try today is adding a little bit, bit of dihedral to the wing rather than just the uh, flat classic arm and wing style. Uh, I'm going to try a little bit of dihedral like this one. This uh, red slope sawer is loosely based on the Photon uh, from Experimental Airlines. It's optimised for slope sawing though. Uh, the fuselage is shorter. Uh, it's a 50 millimetre square tube, a little bit tapered up at the back from about there. Um, otherwise it's pretty similar to the uh, Photon, although it doesn't have a motor here, uh, just a nose cone for the battery. I do actually have a little motor mount that I can put on to turn it into a slope, into a, uh, a motor glider. That just pops on like that. Uh, that's only velcroed on and sort of friction fit into place so uh, I wouldn't go flat out with the motor. Uh, I actually have it on a, a curve to limit the maximum um, revs. Um, I'll just show you some other building tips. Uh, I always tend to have the aileron connections coming out just here behind the wing so if I want to remove the wing and swap to try a different one I just unplug the aileron servo wires there. And there it is. Now because I don't uh, glue the wing halves together, they're just taped, I can easily just remove the tape and... Uh, and there we have it. So what I'm going to do is cut the spar in half there and uh, have a piece of aluminium tubing with a slight bend in it that the two halves of this spar will slot into. So you need to find a uh, piece of aluminium tube uh, and the diameter of this is it's about a 10 millimeter outer diameter and the good thing is that the spars I use fit beautifully inside there. So, take about a two hundred millimeter length of aluminium tube. Cut that off. Tidy it up a bit. Just using a little counter sinking tool here to uh, get rid of the sharp edges on the inner surface. There we go. Spar will fit in nicely. Very good. Now I'm just going to find the halfway point. Right there. And just put that in the vise. And just bend it a little bit to start off with. There we go. And I also need to cut the spar in half. Uh, now these spars are uh, wrapped carbon fibre as opposed to pull through to carbon fibre tubes. Uh, these are lighter and stiffer and much more resistant to um, splitting and crushing so these are great to use for spars. Uh, now when cutting this stuff you sort of need to go slowly all the way around the circumference when you're cutting it. And I tend to just rest it on the vise and rotate the spar as I'm cutting a little bit. Then you'll get down to the fibres and uh, you sort of want to cut the fibres all the way around. There we go, all done. 
and we can tidy that up a little bit too. There we go, and that gives us the dihedral spar. Let's try it on the wing. Now I have, with previous wings, just forced this into the spar channel, but that sort of chews it up a little bit, so I thought it'd be smart today, and you pre-drill it with a with a 10 millimeter drill. Very good. So, pop the spar ends in. So what I'm aiming for is about 100 millimetres up at this tip with the other wing down flat and we have about 130 so I've got a bit too much angle I'm just going to reduce that angle a little bit there we go, that should do it and that's right on Excellent. 10 centimetres.